Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to part 4 of our how to get a free domain and hosting series. In this video, I'll show you how to get a free domain name and WordPress hosting from Infinity Free Web Hosting. Now, go to this website here, that is infinityfree.net. I'll leave a link in the description below, so go ahead and use it to get to infinityfree.net. So while here, what you need to do is uh, sign up. So you can sign up here by coming to client area or clicking on sign up here but you can register an account so let me just go to client area and click on client area so here you're supposed to create an account if you already have an account all you have to do is sign in but because i don't have an account what i'll do is i'll click on sign up and i'll be asked to provide my email address my password and confirm my password so i love to read the terms of service and also confirm that I'm not a robot. So I'll start by typing in my email. Then I'll type in my password. I repeat my password. Then I'll have to read the terms of service and be before I agree to the terms of service. So I'll open the terms of service on a new page. And I just go through them. See what I can see what they talk about. So these are the terms of service and the privacy policy. What you need to do is go through them, check in details, see if you can agree with them. And if you agree with them, then just go back to the sign up page and check the box there. And also check that you are not a robot and then create a new account. Next, you are supposed to verify your email address. So an email has been sent to your email address. So just go to your email address and open your email. You should be able to find uh, the email on your inbox or you can find it on the spam folder here is my email account i just have to click on verify email and it will direct me to my hosting accounts so what i have to do is i create an hosting account i can create at, up to a maximum of three accounts from here which are active and to do that i have to click on create account when it comes to create account, you can use a custom domain. If you already have a domain, you can buy one from Namecheap, you can buy one from domain.com or from any registrar of your choice. But because we are using free, we are talking about free things, I just go with a free subdomain and then I'll type and I'll type my preferred subdomain. So after typing my preferred subdomain, I have to choose my domain extension. So you just come here. Find your preferred domain extension. We have greenside.net, loves, loves to blog, infinityfreeapp.com. For let me choose the last one, it's a little bit shorter. Then after that, I'll click on check availability to see if it's still available for use. And oh, the domain is available. What I have to do now is enter additional information that is my label. So, what is the name? So I'll just type in the E and M tutorials. It'll be the same there. Then the username and account will be generated automatically from there. Then the password, I'll just type my account password. After that, I'll just click on I'm not a robot. And from there, I can just click on create account. Now my account is already created. Here you can see we have to finish. So let us just finish the creation. With the account created, we can go to the file manager or to the control panel. And I want to go to the control panel. Now, here we get a notification. This is notify you of changes to service account status of us and other important. We need permission to send you email. Please click I approve below. So you need to click I approve. Otherwise, you not get email alerts, which may cause you to click your account. So, to keep your account, click on I approve. And here we have our cPanel dashboard. So, what we need to do is next is install WordPress. So, to install WordPress, to install WordPress, just scroll down and find the Softaculous app installer. It is right here on the software part. So, just click on the software class installer here you can find all the cms you can use you can use wordpress you can use joomla you can use php bb and so many more here to build a website so 
because we are, we are talking about free WordPress hosting, I'll install WordPress from here. So to install WordPress, I can just click on install WordPress and it'll direct me and ask me where do I want to install my WordPress. I change here from HTTP to HTTPS because I want to install, because I wanted my website to be secure. And then here you can choose the directory. We have a directory. Here you can choose the version and because we are in version 6, I'll just stick to version 6. You can see that it tells me a trusted SSL certificate was not found. I cannot use HTTPS. So I'll just go back to HTTP and then I have to provide my site name. That is the... Let me leave the rest of that. Then I'll provide my admin username and my password and my email is already there. Now, before I install my WordPress, I just want to let you know that uh, if you want to create a multi-site, you can just come here and check this box. So choose your language. You can select your plugins. Now let's just go ahead. Here we have the install themes. So you can just select your themes right from here. But we are not going to do that right now. So let me just click on install. And our WordPress installation is on. We wait until the installation is over. Yes, our installation is over. We have two links. Our installation is over. It says that congratulations, the software was installed successfully. Now let us go and look at how the website looks like and then we can see what we can do. So just click on the first link and open it on a new tab. So this is how the website looks like, a little bit ugly. So what we can do is install a new theme and we can install a new theme by just going back, going to themes and from here we can find, go to appearances, then themes and here we can search our favorite, we can just go and click this plus button here or come here and if we have just click add button there so if we have a premium theme we can click on upload theme if you don't have a premium theme you can choose from these themes available here so i'll choose the cadence theme which is a free lightweight theme which gives you the ability to customize your website and also gives you control over the layout of your website after installing, then click activate and your theme will be activated. Now, let us just go and preview our website. So I'll go and visit my website and see how it looks like. So now it looks a little bit better. What we can do next is we can import demo content and make it look a little bit better so that we can be able to start designing it later. So to do that, let's just go back to our website, go back and go to plugins and click on install plugins. You can come at the top and click on add new, but we already have the cadence starter templates already installed. So what we can do is click on view template library and here we can find all templates. So you can come and choose between the different page builders. That is the Gutenberg and also the element at the top, Gutenberg and the Elementor. Then scroll and find a free template because some are premium and you'll have to pay for them so let me find one and then i can install a free one let me install this one this is the template i want so a few things before you import this demo content you can style it a little bit you can come here to the left hand side and change the color you can also change the font and you can you also know which plugin you require for instance this one requires the elementor so if i click here you realize that the colors change let me just show you another one if i click on this one you can see the button here has changed if i click on this one the button here has changed as also the background has changed so you can you can change anything from here you can also change the fam the font you can choose a different font if i choose this one you can see it changes if i choose this one it also changes so depending on the same you can go ahead and keep that now you can import as a single page or you can import as a full site. So I'll import as a full site and I'll come here and I'll have to check this box to accept the privacy policy and then subscribe to start inform importing. We have successfully imported our template. Now we can just go ahead and view our site. And this is how our site looks like. It's a little bit beautiful than it was before. 
So what you can do next is go ahead and customize it further. That is, you need to change the images, you need to change the text, you need to change the colors, and also you need to change the icons, whatever you want to do with the website. Now, with that said, I'd appreciate if you like this video. In the meantime, if you want to know how to build free WordPress sites, make sure to check our free WordPress hosting playlist. Also, if you, are no, you have not subscribed to our channel, then go ahead and do so, as well as keep posting similar videos. In the meantime, stay safe.